what's up? This is Ron at Kiragano Control Podcast, and today I'm here with yours, CMB DBL Germany. Man, how does it feel to be out here in Millionaire Style, Los Angeles? Oh man, it's great to be back. It's been a while. Like actually, Millionaire Styles came to California to LA in yeah. 2004, 20 years ago. Yeah. And it's been off and on, and uh, been up in the Bay Area, and then a couple of years back in Korean Town, and now it feels really good to have it like back in in LA downtown with the different hubs. How did the vision for Millionaire Styles come about? Oh, well, it started like uh, 95 actually, like me sitting on a, a blossom cherry tree, you know, having a puff and yeah. I got the vision, the idea of bringing people together. We had a big compound back then in Wiesbaden, okay. next to Frankfurt. It's a, a big slaughter place that was abandoned and I wanted to bring graffiti guys together, you know, and uh, we got a lot of people from all around Europe and 97 was the kickoff and it got bigger and bigger from year to year and in 2000 was the blast you know yeah. people approached me and they were like yo we need this in our hometown because graffiti is being criminalized and we want to like show publics and official it's an art form and that was the kickoff for meeting of styles in 2002 and since then to today it's like 20 23 years of history with about 500 events all over the continent how does that make you feel knowing that it's become from just an idea of hanging out to now it's just a worldwide sensation uh, well, it makes me very happy and, and proud to be part of the movement and to contribute to um, a better world. That, that's like the basic idea, you know, bring people together for exchange and uh, cooperation. And, um, you know, I, I know that, you know, it's uh, something that, that came to me and I kicked it off, but people keep the ball up. You know? Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, without all the dedicated organizers around the world, this wouldn't be possible. And they all got the right mindset. They got the love and the passion for the culture and for creativity. And I think that's what makes Meeting of Styles uh, so special. It's the spirit of cooperation and exchange. From all the media and the styles worldwide, one location that really stood out to you, whether it's present or past? Oh wow, there are so many, man. It's been 400 events. I, I couldn't attend all of them, but I've seen quite a few of them. And uh, it's like, uh, you know, I, I can't go down the list. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, Buenos Aires was magnificent, Guadalajara, uh, um, this uh, Ciudad de Mexico was uh, magnificent. We've been to La Paz, Bolivia, yeah. Belgium, uh, Wiesbaden, Germany, Spain, you know, it's like every medium of styles has its own vibe. And, um, you know, it, it also depends on the culture, the climate, and uh, the people, and, you know, each of it has been unique and very special. I cannot really say this one or that one. You yeah, know? definitely. They, they yeah, all yeah. got the vibe, man. Last question I got for you, brother, before I let you go. For someone out there that does not understand the graffiti culture and his movement that we all love, what can you say to that person out there? Well, I would say like, you know, everybody's got a gift and what you got to do is like work on your gift, you know, and take it serious, follow your path, believe in your dreams. And, you know, maybe today it seems impossible, but if you keep on working on your dreams, tomorrow they might realize that's what it's about. If anybody wants to reach out to you, where can they find you? On Instagram? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, my, my Instagram is yours, underscore CMB, DB, DBL, and uh, also through meetingofstyles.com. You guys heard from the man himself. This is Ron Akira, Ghana Control po Podcast, and we're live here at Meeting of Style Los Angeles 2024. Till next time. Peace. Peace.